All right, today I'm gonna to be talking about the Gear Up Two Tube Surf Casting Bag. So this is a very awesome bag and I get the question asked a fair amount, what is the plug bag that you use? I use the Two Tube Surf Casting Bag from Gear Up. I like it just because it's simple and durable. I think that it just, it has a big Velcro patch on the front of it, which is awesome because it's very grippy. And if you're doing a lot of swimming out to rocks and stuff, you're not really worried about anything coming out of your bag because the, the front flap flips open, which is like the worst nightmare scenario. So you're not worried about anything happening like that with the bag. The other thing that's nice about it too is when you're trying to get plugs out of your bag, you have these two little like tube flaps here that will also help keep the plugs in the bag. Now, in the bag itself, you have these two tubes here and they're removable, but they also have a lot of drainage at the bottom. So when you're swimming out to rocks and stuff and water gets in here, which it inevitably will, it can drain out very easily from that. Then at the bottom on the inside, you got these big grommets there that will help drain the water out of the plug bag. And if you look at the inside of the plug bag too, you can see right here, there are bucktail pouches. So if you needed any extra bucktails, you could put them on the inside of here. You also have something that you could put pliers or a little buck, like pork rind, one of these things, a little bucktail teaser thing in you could fit that in there if i tried harder <laughs> so there's that and then on the back you have these two powerful straps here that you can attach to a belt with like loops here which would help you like d-rings i guess that you could also kind of click into a belt and then you have a nice strap right here which normally swivels through these like plastic carabiners here but I've broken both of these off on both sides because when I have a full heavy plug bag and I jump off a rock and land and it goes like that over and over again, it eventually breaks. And that is just how it is. I don't think I've fished with a plug bag that that hasn't happened to. That's probably the only negative downside to this bag so far. And as you can see, I've had this for a bunch of years. It is weathered. I mean, you, if you look at the detail on this bag, like it has been worked, it has been used, every corner is frayed, or not frayed, but like roughed up and fuzzy because it has been fished hard for the past like four years, 180 days a season, and just fish really hard and abused, like all of my gear is. So if I'm suggesting something like this, it's just because it actually held up for that long. I always say if a piece of gear can last more than one season, then it's doing pretty good because that's how rough I am on gear. I fish hard. I kind of look at a lot of my gear as a tool. And whenever I'm doing like these reviews, I'm not really getting into the technical pieces inside of things. I just am looking at the functionality of that piece of gear. And for this being the 2-2 plug bag, like for me, the reason I use this bag in particular is it's small enough that it's not some giant, I mean, I have six, eight, two plug bags that I use when I'm guiding, so it's not a giant ass plug bag that is gonna completely wear out my shoulder in like two hours of guiding, which it for sure does. I'm like, my, my shoulder blades are like burnt out in two hours because you have this plug bag and you're carrying like 15 pounds of lures. I mean, it's absurd, so. It's not that, it's a nice light bag that to me can carry enough that if you're fishing like during the day, you can have all the lures and maybe some backups for that lure during the day. Or if you're fishing at night, you can carry as many lures as you really need and for that night and that's really what's awesome about it. Like it's like the perfect size is basically what I'm trying to say. So when I fill a bag, I generally will have two bags worth of plugs that I'm working with within a day. All my daytime plugs and my nighttime plugs. And now it's a little too small to fit all of my daytime and nighttime plugs in. And you can kind of do a combo 
but then you're missing out on a few different plugs that you'd want to take. So that's probably the one downside to this size, having it be just two tubes worth of plugs. But if you get creative and you, if I needed to fit something or more plugs in and I filled both my tubes up, you can actually shove stuff in between the plug bag. So let's look on the wall here. What's something that I would do this with? Yeah, like this. The timber swimmer. So a giant metal lip swimmer. Now this is good too, because like sometimes you have a hard time fitting this even in. Like if I put this in the tube itself, it's still sticking out a bit where if I shove this in the front of my bag, I fit a whole extra plug, giant plug at that in the front of my bag, like there. So look, I fit this whole giant plug in the front of my bag. And this is such good Velcro there. That's not coming undone. It's sticking in there, which is awesome. So that, among many reasons, is why I like to fish the 2-2 plug bag. If you want to pick this plug bag up right now, go to the link in my description at Fisherman Source. They'll get it out to you real quick. So go to the link in my description and pick one up right now. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I got a lot more videos to come. And if you want to grab one of these, go to the link in my description. I'll see you next time.